Okay, so we're back with more work on trigonometry in oblique triangles. There is another area of formula. We learned an earlier area of formula where we had two sides and the included angle. There's an additional formula we can use using trigonometry to find the area of an oblique triangle if we know the three sides, all three sides and no angles. This particular formula was developed by a Greek mathematician uh, by the name of Heron. Uh, in the uh, about 100 BC, so it's been around for quite some time. Heron being a very famous uh, studier of geometry who described areas and surface areas and volumes of a large number of geometric figures. So this is Heron's area formula. That's H-E-R-O-N, by the way. And again, it's how we find the area of an oblique triangle, a non-right triangle, if we know all three sides. Okay, so here we go. Um, if we have a triangle, I'm just going to draw any old triangle. And this triangle has three sides, which we will be given if we're going to use this formula. We'll call them A, B, and C. Again, the letters are not that important, but we need to name them something. Heron's formula requires that we solve first for a variable called s. No particular reason for the s, just we're going to call it s. We find s by adding the three sides together and dividing by 2. Not exactly the average, the average would be dividing by 3, but in this case we're dividing by 2. This formula, Heron's formula, says that the area of the triangle can be determined by finding the square root of the following product, the s value that was determined, and then what you get when you subtract each side from that value s. It's actually a very, very simple and pretty elegant formula, actually. So let's go ahead and do a problem. I think that's the best way to just see how it works. And this will be a pretty quick video because it's a pretty quick formula. So let's say we have a triangle. Again, this will not be drawn to scale. Let's say I have a triangle with three sides that are of lengths 5, 7, and 10. And I were to ask you to find the area of that triangle. Heron's formula asks you to first define the value of S. S would be the three sides added together divided by 2. Shouldn't need a whole bunch of math to do that. 5 plus 10 is 15 plus 7 is 22. Divided by 2 is 11. So S is 11. My area then is the square root of my product of S, which is 11, and then subtract each length, each side length from 11. 11 minus 10 is 1. 11 minus 7 is 4. 11 minus 5 is 6. Yeah, it's that simple. So it's S times the difference between S and each of the three sides. It's the product of all four of those numbers. When you do this, you get the square root of 264. That's 24 times 11. And then when you take the square root on your calculator, you get the answer of approximately 16.25. I am rounding there to two, two decimal places. Okay, that's Heron's formula. Not much more to say than that. It's a pretty straightforward formula. Add the three sides together, divide by two to find S, and then your area is the square root of the product of S and the three differences between S and the sides. That's all there is to it. Thanks.